The next thing we have to do is to cut a little groove in here uh, where the cork piece is going to go. And the cork is about 3 eighths of an inch. Again, I'll take my skew chisel and just scribe those lines. Now for this I'm going to switch to a, a very narrow parting tool. In fact this is brand new. I just got it for Christmas and uh, I'm going to use that to cut this in. It'll give me a little better control than the big one. And I want to go down about a 32nd of an inch. Since the cork is a, a 16th of an inch thick, we want to split that difference and make it a 32 so it'll stick a 32nd of an inch out from the uh, surface of the wood. And that'll give us our seal. Now the only thing left is to uh, finish and shape the top part uh, in a pleasing shape that'll uh, go along with this. Uh, what I'm going to plan to do on this is just kind of round it off on the top and a little bit on the bottom. And that should probably be all we need for that thing. Uh, to do that, let me readjust my tool stock, get a little closer. I'm going to use my quarter inch uh, spindle gouge and just round off the top and a little bit off the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to hold the bottom up and see how I like that shape. I think that will look pretty good. Now, this uh, this one is, is coming out much smoother than the bottom part did, so I don't think we're going to need to uh, do the CA glue treatment on it. I'm going to switch to a skew chisel now and just kind of work on this edge so it blends into the top a little smoother. Now I'm going to uh, clean up the chips a little bit and then remove this and do a final finish on the bottom or the top. And the sanding uh, virtually is exactly the same as I did on the bottom part. I cut some new pieces of sandpaper, the old ones were getting a little worn out. And this one, I think I'll start this, I think I'll start this a little rougher. I'm going to start this about 120 grit, um, just to do a little final, final shaping and, and smoothing out of this area here. And then, uh, then move up through the grits from there. And that should do it. the paper towel. The heat from the friction will uh, help that sealer cure itself and soak right on into the wood real good. Okay, that part is done. And I'll remove it. And now the acid test, see how it fits. Very good. And the nice thing about it is you can line the grain up so that it matches the bottom part. Now we have two things left to do. I have to glue and uh, the cork on here and then uh, sand it down so we have a good, good fit and then drill the holes in the top. 
So we'll move away from the lathe and we'll go back over to the workbench here and do that part.